I did that in a couple step process. A, on Sunday the 4th, I communicated this to our duty chiefs, the folks that are in charge of the stations on a day-to-day -day basis, and instructed that they go out and talk to the stations and go out with their battalion chiefs and talk to the station level personnel to ensure that they knew my expectations and ensure that they knew that these behaviors were, were inappropriate and, and unaccepted. Followed on, they knew that I was going to send that message on Friday that that message was going to be sent on Friday to all 2,700 men and women of the department. So that everyone within the department got the same message, got that message from me, got that message with what my expectations were. Um, and and as, as I said, that message identified what had occurred, identified that it was not one that I knew of and had ability to point to a specific station shift um, or, or member. If I had that information, I'd be investigating that directly and that action. If I find out about a member that did something uh, inappropriate, we will, as we do, investigate that. I'm sure lots of people are going to be shaking their heads saying, and that's that's what some of the feed now? that's some of the feedback I got from my organization. My organization, internal folks within the organization, said, "I'm amazed that we have to deal with this. I'm amazed that this type of behavior is going on." We've been discussing EEO. We've been discussing harassment-free workplaces. We've been discussing discrimination and appropriate behavior for over two years now within MCFRS. We started a, a, a training initiative in 2016. We've been engaged with a very numerous uh, moments of community engagement as well as uh, training activities. Um, so our folks themselves were saying, why is this still going on? Why is this happening? Um, but at the same time, my folks also reacted to uh, uh, appreciation for the clear message, appreciation for a, a communication that went to everybody ex setting out the tone and the demeanor that these actions were unac unacceptable and, and were not within tolerance of, of our organization. And as such, people body had an opportunity to reiterate that, remember that, reflect that and go back to our principles and, and look at that so that they were very clear that this is not how we operate as Montgomery County Fire Rescue.